Hello everyone, this is Steve at Calc Tech LLC and I want to welcome you to the TI Inspire CX CAS video installation guide. So hopefully you've had a chance to download the zip archive file uh, that we sent you via email or if you're downloading the free trial from our website uh, you'll have a zip archive on your computer somewhere. Uh, we're going to start there. The first thing that you want to do with that archive file is extract it. I've already done that. You'll see down here in the lower right hand corner there is a folder SATOS full version. Uh, that is the folder that appears after you extract the archive. If you go ahead and open that up you'll notice there's three different uh, items here. The uh, manual, a link to this guide, as well as the software itself, SATOS TNS. Uh, that's what we're going to transfer in this video to the graphing calculator. So to do that, you're going to need the software you see in the upper left-hand corner. It's called the TI Inspire Computer Link Software. And this is different for those of you who are familiar with TI Connect. Um, you cannot use TI Connect to transfer the software. You do need TI Inspire Computer Link Software. To get that software, you're going to go over to your web browser and type in the following. It's called TI Inspire CX CAS Computer Link Software. And you'll click the first link that appears in the search results. And on that page, you'll get a download button here on the lower right corner, I guess, or the middle here on the right. Click that, and you'll see an executable file as well as a DMG file. Uh, for Windows and Mac users respectively. You'll want to choose the one that's right for you. I'm going to use uh, the EXE because I'm running Windows. So I would click that. Uh, normally you would get a button that says uh, Continuous Guest or Login. If you don't have an account, just hit Continuous Guest and it'll uh, allow you to download the software. Since I've already done that, I've already installed the software. I'm just going to cancel that download, which I've done and we'll move right on to the next step, which is to open TI Inspire Computer Link software. Here you'll notice I have the three items uh, that we discussed, and the one that is of interest here is the SATOS TNS file. Uh, normally you would also see a split panel in that top half of the window that shows you a file hier hierarchy. Uh, I went ahead and closed that just so that we don't uh, need to worry about that, but you would normally use that to navigate to the folder in which you uh, extracted all of the uh, relevant files to. So, for example, you'll notice here SATOS test in my downloads folder and then SATOS full version, which is the folder uh, that contains all the information. That's where you would navigate to up here in this window so that you would see all of those contents. You'll notice they're the same because it's the same folder. So that's where you want to be. All right, now once you've got that, you want to make sure your calculator is connected to your computer. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and do that. Uh, I already have my calculator plugged in, so we're good to go. Uh, but normally what you would do is plug that in, and then up here, select handheld under tools, and then it'll allow you to select your handheld. If it doesn't show up right away, go ahead and hit refresh, and then it should pop up uh, if everything goes the way it should. So once you've done that and you see the contents of your calculator down below, TI Inspire File Browser hyphen documents, uh, if you haven't really installed anything on your calculator or created anything, you'll only see what you see here. My calculator is pretty much fresh. I haven't even transferred the software yet to the calculator, so this is what you sh what should see. Now if you want to put this SAT operating system document uh, which is basically a program. In some other folder, you're more than welcome to do that. You can use the bottom half here to uh, create a folder that's convenient for you, depending on what your, uh, your setup is. But I'm just going to transfer it from the top there to the very uh, root level of my calculator so it's easy to access and it's fast. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on SATOS. I'm going to drag that file from the top into this bottom window you'll notice that it becomes highlighted here on the right in blue and I'm just gonna let go and then it transfers pretty quickly 
for those of you who have a lot of stuff in your calculator, you're going to make sure that you have at least 10 kilobytes of free storage space for this. Uh, it's actually a smaller uh, file than uh, all the other versions of SAT operating system. Uh, so it shouldn't really consume that many resources. But once it's done transferring, you'll see it's right there. Um, the exact same file you see up here is now on the calculator, and that's really it. That's all there is to it for uh, transferring the software. It's very easy. It's one file. There are no add-ins like there are for the 89 version. So uh, to start the software, it's in the manual, but we'll go over it real quick here. You're going to uh, go to the home screen, and you can do that by pressing the on key. And then, and we can even look at the... Uh, the calculator here that's my desktop background you're gonna hit this thing right here it says on and then you'll see the uh, screen above here go to my documents you can do that using the keys the arrow keys uh, or use the number two key to access my documents and then right away you'll see my documents and then below that there'll be SATOS uh, use the arrow keys to highlight that and then press the button that's in the center of the touchpad or you can use the enter button it doesn't matter uh, and that will launch the software. You should see SAT Operating System version 1.0. Press the menu key to get started, and that will allow you to start uh, accessing the functions and features of the software and um, so on and so forth. So that's it. If you want to learn more about the SAT Operating System or how to use any of the features in the system itself, you can refer to the manual or our website. We have a wiki that shows you you know, different aspects of the software and, and how to use them, as well as the other videos on this channel uh, will show you how to apply the software to real SAT problems. And they are for the 89 calculator, but they all apply because the user interface is essentially the same. Thank you for being a Calctech customer. I wish you the very best of luck on the SAT. If you have any questions, you can contact us by email or phone, support at calctech.com or 814-806-2688 for the uh, phone support. Thank you.